tell you about this date I went on yesterday. Oh, no. It had to have been the worst date of my entire life. Worse than the girl with the bad breath? Worse. Uh-uh. You know how I usually like to cook for women, you know, yeah. wine them and dine them, little fake Casanova so or whatever. <laughs> but, like, this one time I let somebody else do the cooking. You let her cook for you? You must kind of like her or something. Yeah, I mean, she's cute, you know, right. cool, a little awkward, right. you know, sweet girl, but... After this, I might have to rethink this whole thing. <laughs> it was that bad? It was. Okay, well, let me get a drink because this is sounding like I'm gonna need it for this You story. will, trust me. Let's go, go to the kitchen. Because we're sick of your struggle plates. Fed up with your food porn. This, this is Butter and Brown. And welcome back for another episode of Butter, Butter and Brown. Brown. Now, on today's episode, we're going to teach you guys how to make something that'll make those sour days a little sweeter. All right. Make you lick your lips like LL. Go on and tell them what it's called. Ladies and gentlemen, a bourbon bramble. Mm, this sounds sexy. Like it should be in light. Like a smelling good man. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. But what I do know is I need something to help erase the memory of that terrible day. You did. Now, let's get started. We'll need bourbon, of course, fruit preserves, whatever you prefer. Today, we opted for blackberries and fresh blackberries. We have mint and lemons. Also, we're gonna use these mason jars. Yeah. Because they have tops, they make for great shakers. And they're cute, and plus you can take them on the go. Wait, Throw it in the right, bag, Stop Saturday. right there. We're not gonna start this trend of walking around the streets with ma mason jars and all. Nope, stop, it's not gonna happen. Okay, now let's get started. First, we're gonna start off with two spoonfuls of the fruit preserves. There we go. The juice of either half of a whole lemon, whichever you prefer. That's a hard one. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, and of course, we want two ounces of that bourbon. Ooh, my word. A little heavy handed, you take that one. And again, you guys know us. So those bu big beautiful ice cubes from the last episode, we're gonna go ahead and drop those in. Put these tops on, make sure they're tight, and then check, 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 check. And then, turn up. Let's add some garnish first. One or two, a little mint leaf. And then, make it cute. You a hater. Okay, so now I have my drink. Finish telling me about your whack date. Okay, so I'm at her house or whatever, right? Wait, where did you meet her? Tinder. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm at her house or whatever, and she's like, oh my God, I'm so excited <laughs> to cook for you. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm not letting it show. I'm just like, yeah, me too. What, what was she making you? And see, that's the thing. She said it was a surprise, oh, and that yeah. should have been a red flag from the start. Yeah. So I'm looking at all the ingredients that she has out on the counter, and none of them really made sense together. And what was even more bizarre was she was trying to be cute while she was cooking. Ugh. She was like winking and smiling <laughs> at me or whatever. Oh my God, Les. Okay. When this taco came out, I swear to God, it was the worst meal I'd ever had in my life. It was an absolute catastrophe. Oh, dang. Not those I'ma cook for you, I'ma clean Jody tacos. Yeah, those Yvette, you gonna get in there, you gonna cook, you gonna clean, you gonna make them tacos tacos, yeah. Man, I swear, I wish people would stop putting ground beef, cheddar cheese, iceberg lettuce, a gang of ketchup on a tortilla and keep calling it a taco. That's a cheeseburger on a tortilla shell. It is, it really is. And the thing is, people need to know that tacos are like sandwiches. You can put whatever on them, but at some point, you stop eating bologna. Or in this case, ground meat. You're right. People gotta know, it's time for something different. You trying to show the people how it's done? Let's show them what we Let's mean. Let's go. Not for that whole taco fiasco, cuz. <laughs> I wanna make sure that nobody ever has to suffer through anything like that ever again. Never again. So today, we're gonna to show you guys how to make a taco that everybody's sure to love. Today, we're gonna to use fish. Catfish in a beer batter. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So I'll show you guys how to make the batter while you go ahead and season up that fish. Cool. 
So basically, you're gonna need a light beer, some flour, and that's what we do. The amount of flour really depends on the amount of fish that you have. Normally, nothing more than a cup and a half is fine. And then you're gonna season that up with some dry ingredients. We have our onion powder, we have our paprika, we have a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper, and some cayenne. It's gonna be some spice in that thing. <laughs> so then, we wanna slowly pour in the beer and watch it froth up. As it thickens, and then everything becomes mixed together and there's no lumps, that's how you know it's complete. Great. Now that I've seasoned up the fish with all the dry ingredients that Leslie used for the beer batter, it intensifies the flavor and ensures that everything's well seasoned through and through. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's make a little spicy sauce to go with this. Okay, let's do a chipotle sour cream. Mm -hmm. Now there are a number of different types of sauces that you could use for a fish taco. Today, we're gonna do a chipotle sour cream. So all you need is a can of adobo chipotle peppers that are drained and chopped and then we're gonna add a half a cup of sour cream. We're gonna grab an emulsion blender and blend. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now when we finish blending, we're just gonna put it in one of these squeeze bottles that we found at our local grocer. Now as far as cheeses go, we wanna offer something definitely better than cheddar. So march on down to the aisle where they sell the Mexican cheeses and grab a hunk of cojita. It's light, it's crumbly, and it's the best cheese for this type of dish. Right. Now you're gonna need something that will go on the top, a crunchy element. Plus, you want it to withstand the heat of the fish and that batter, and it won't wilt. We decided to go with the cold slaw. We kept it simple. We just bought a prepackaged bag of cold slaw and made our own dressing with lime juice, mayo, and salt and pepper. Season that thing up a little bit. Stir. It's ready. Okay. Now let's get up in here and fry this fish. Let's do it. Now, you wanna be sure that your pan is at a medium, medium high heat. If the flame is too high, the batter will cook before the fish does itself. Allow the batch to cook about six minutes, turning each piece at least once. When the batch is done, it'll be a beautiful golden brown color. When you take it out, just sprinkle it with a little table salt. Now that the fish is done, we can go ahead and get started with the shells. Seth and I are from California, so we're pretty well versed in tacos. We're used to people making up fried shells for theirs, but we're gonna keep it authentic. All you're gonna need is some corn tortillas. Simply heat these up on an empty skillet over high heat or directly on the flame if you have a gas stove. Char it up on both sides and that's it. You're done, easy peasy. Now all that's left to do is dress these up. Okay, now that everything's done, all we have to do is add the slaw and the sauce that we made earlier. And I even brought a little avocado and some lime for added texture and a little bit of flavor. But the real question here is this, you gonna see homegirl again? Absolutely not. What? She was nice. You she was know. nice, she was nice, she was cool, she was cute, right. but that just wasn't for me. Okay, so I guess it's back to Tinder for you? Yeah. That's terrible. I'm no, sad. It ain't nothing wrong with Tinder. All right, well, so bad about it. you do it. Make it happen. You trying to go to the pool after this? We can. Have me a little sauce. There you Woo. go. You got avocado? Yep. All right, Come you on. ready for the moment of truth? Oh my goodness, I can't even pick this up. You ready? One, two, three. Now that's a goddamn taco. Now you can erase the memory of that girl and that ratchet ass. Praise God emoji. For these recipes and more, be sure to log on to allnewbutterandbrown.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the show and start cooking. You might impress somebody. Follow us everywhere at Butter and Brown. Hashtag, Hashtag Butter and Brown. And be sure to come back and kick it with us next time. We'll see y'all. Peace. Peace. that in the drink for a little garnish. And, and enjoy. enjoy.